like myself, you have an obsession with the ocean. Where did your deep affinity for water begin? Sure. I think when I was a kid, I mean, I grew up down south, out this side of the, the world, uh, in Kormaki, just like 15 minutes away. And I was in the water from a young age. I started surfing when I was maybe seven. And since then, I've just been kind of connected with the ocean in a variety of ways. I sailed for a lot of years after high school. It's just part of you. It's also a theme that runs deep throughout your album. Every time I came off tour and was in Cape Town, I would just be racing back to Cormacay on weekends. Any time I wasn't in studio, I would just be going back to my family home and going surfing with my friends. It was helping, I think, with the, my, the stresses of my life and the heavy touring schedule and, and the quasi-celebrity that I was kind of having to deal with and become. And that's how it started. And before I knew it, I'd written a whole album that was largely inspired by the ocean. It happened really, I suppose, yeah by mistake. Well, I wasn't planning on it. One ocean adventure Jeremy hasn't had is the kind Brock Maxi offers. Brock, what makes this diving experience unique? So here we are, we're at Miller's Point. This is a marine protected area. Um, we're gonna dive here in the kelp. We're here to see, first and foremost, the cow shark, definitely some seals, and then all the other marine life that's here. We have fish species, cat sharks, pajama sharks. So let's get up and get in the water and go see what we came to see. Have you ever done anything like this before? I have dived a bunch, but I've never dived with cow sharks or even seals, to be honest. I've seen seals while I'm diving, but I've heard that the seals here are super playful, so I'm really hoping that I get to have like seal pups swimming around. I'm not wild about sharks. Yeah. How do you feel about sharks? I'm petrified. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll be fine. So if we see one, I'm we'll, going to be holding your hand. We'll hold hands. We'll hold hands <laughs> together and just be in fear. Otherwise, I just got to swim faster than you. Yes, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> In Jeremy's years crewing on yachts, he's had many scares. Massive storms on intercontinental ocean crossings and a run-in with pirates off the coast of Somalia. The first contact with his cat shark was a much friendlier affair. For this new album, you got to work with internationally acclaimed producers. What was the experience like? I mean, Jake, Gosling is notorious for all of his work with Ed Sheeran in his early days. He did Ed Sheeran's first two major albums. And then another guy, Will Hicks, who is uh, famous for Bastille. And somehow, yeah, I mean, I attracted their attention. It wasn't easy. You kind of, the only way to find those really big producers and get their interest is to tour overseas and start creating a reputation for yourself. And when it comes to recording the album, you have to go out and kind of pitch and try and find these, a producer of real quality who wants to work with you. And so we were very fortunate that I, I, we had a lot of interest from some of these, these major players. So um, yeah, nice eclectic mix of people that worked on the album with me, which was great. Jeremy's choices have always been motivated by wanting to do what he enjoys. Diving with Cape Fur Seals certainly qualifies. Long before music, he worked in bars and restaurants in the UK and visited 50 different countries in his sailing days. In between, he earned an honours degree in property development and finance. It was a stressful course and he began playing the guitar to help him cope. So a musical career was born, which brought him to a day scuba diving with top billing. That was the coolest. I know, they would come right for you and just as you think they're about to hit you, they could like, whip away. It wasn't as terrifying as you thought either. It, it was, I was holding on for dear life. I, and then I, once you broke the ice, I could let go. I but kept wow. feeling your hands like on my legs. I was so scared. They are super playful as well, just like everywhere. Happily, Mr. Loops is a night owl, so he can spend the day on the ocean and still get a good night's songwriting done. He returned from two years in Italy with a fondness for their way of life, and he's hit on a healthy balance between work and play. Oh, look at this awesome collection of boards you have. Yeah, it's my babies. <laughs> but everyone has a favorite. Yeah, I do. I mean, I suppose this, you yeah, know, my log would have to be my favorite. You want to see this thing? Yeah, I'd love to have a look at her. Go oh, there, Maya. Take the ball. I got a local shaper in Musenberg to make this thing. Hold that side. Yeah, it's like a full wooden log. I put my logo on it and everything. It's made by Woodpecker Surfboards, and it's just the best. When did you get into surfing? Well, I suppose my parents moved out here when I was like six, and this is uh, the family home we've been in since then. So as soon as I got here, I think I started surfing when I was maybe in grade grade one or grade two or something like that. 
and um, it's such a pleasure that my boards and my old room, this is my old room still, that's all still here, so it's just a good excuse after tour or just living in the city, my studio's in the city, just to race back here for weekends and know that all my stuff's here and I've still got all my friends who live out the side of the world and uh, yeah, one day I might move out here myself, but um, it's, yeah, it's nice enough to just be coming back to the family home. Since Trading Change won Album of the Year on iTunes SA and MTV Africa's Best Alternative Album, Jeremy has toured non-stop, but this remains his base. Maya's one of the sweetest dogs I've ever met. When did you get her? Maya's about two years old. I got her at the Tears just down the road. And yeah, she's a rescue pup that's been with us for a little while now. What are some of your fondest memories here at your family home? I've got two sisters and just like such a solid family unit. Those are them, yeah, that's Larissa, my middle sister, I'm the eldest, and Celeste is the youngest sister. And I mean, so they both still live locally. Celeste, uh, the youngest, she works in Jeremy Loops with me. She's my operations manager and just head of dealing with everyone. She's my wall to the outside world. And Larissa is the middle sister. She works in Nordic, just close by. So we're all still seeing each other every week. And yeah, it's just a privilege to grow up with such a strong family unit around me, especially in the last seven years as I've, I don't know, kind of blown up on the scene of local music and international touring it. It has a lot of potential dangers and pitfalls. It's been a privilege just to have a solid bunch of people around me. My family are everything to me. His latest single was filmed up the Indian Ocean coast in Mozambique. What was the inspiration for the song Waves? I mean, I'd been writing songs for the second album for two and a half years. I think I wrote maybe 40 songs before I wrote Waves and Waves kind of symbolized a breakthrough that I had about a year and a half ago where I was surfing um, just down the road here. I had really good waves that day and I think I'd been feeling maybe just really stressed out, a lot of anxiety around the album and we hadn't started recording yet but I, you know, I needed to get in the studio and suddenly I had this beautiful day of surfing and I think like being in the ocean kind of often baptizes you almost by water and you just like let the water rinse your soul and you kind of come out feeling like a, a new person in a way and I did that evening I came out and, and I felt just totally refreshed and I rode waves that night in an evening and had you know this song stuck in my head for the next two months I, I had a feeling it was going to end up on the album and it was just a beautiful thing to finally see it make it onto the album and we shot that music video which was the most fun ever just being on the beach for weeks on end. You're about to go on one of the biggest world tours a South African artist has ever gone on. How does it make you feel and where will you be going? Where are we going? She's everywhere. It's a proper world tour. We are starting in the UK, going over all through Europe for a month. And we fly straight to the States and we do the States for three weeks. And then we fly to Australia and then we fly to New Zealand. It's going to be a solid kind of nine weeks of touring on the road and I think like yeah, four continents, 35 cities or something crazy like that will be non-stop. Well Jeremy, we are so excited about this new album. It is absolutely phenomenal and most of all we're so proud of our homegrown artists making waves across the globe. Absolutely, thanks for having me and thanks for coming diving with me today. Thank Badass. you, that was so incredible. Yeah.